What is good guys, we're here with Cory vs Femin for Smoke and Snack Draft Finals, looking at the teams. I think it's either Zemo of Coco or Zemo of Heatran, uh, most likely a Scarf Lando on Femin's side. And a defensive Mew with enough speed for Landris and Zygarde with Ice Beam Willow with Softball and Defog. Either a Bantor or a Megatar, not sure about that yet. And the packs, standard fat packs, Spadef with either Toxic or Toxic Spikes. Um, but yeah, Toxic would be nice I guess in this matchup for uh, Alamomola and potentially for the Ladi, but he has Tita so... Cory Aldred has to fear the Tita anyway with the Ladi. So looking at Cory's team, he looks super weak to this Heatran, right? Um, so that means that he might be Mega Ladi with Earthquake. That's the set Amfuga has used before in Snake. And yeah, technically that's a nice Heatran switch in. Earth Power, uh, Earthquake, Mega Ladi. Eats Magma Storm. Threatens it all with Earthquake. But the problem is, Femin has a Tita, so Cory kind of has to fear uh Femin doubling into Tita every time the Ladi, like uh, he wants to switch into Ladi, so it's just tough. So we see Lando versus Lando. I assume they're both Scarf. The other up only, the only other potential Scarfer on his team would be most likely the Ladi. I, I know Scarf Trend is sometimes used, but on this team he shouldn't be Scarf Trend. And yeah, this should be Mega. So I think that Scarf Lando makes the most sense. So they can either exchange HP Ice here, or if they don't want their Landers to take any damage, they can go into one of their walls. Yeah, on defensive landers you usually see uh, Earthquake, right, with HP Ice, U-turn and Rocks. But on Scarf Landers you obviously have, if you don't have Rocks, I know sometimes it's used on Scarf Land Rocks, but if you don't have Rocks, you can you get another move slot. Um, it's either, it could be Stone Edge, Explosion, Knock Off, something like that, right? Uh, since Femin has a Coco, he's not weak to Pinces, so it will probably not be Stone Edge. Um, okay, let's Knock Off. So we do see the other move that he has. I think that Femin actually potentially predicted uh, Cory to switch into Ferrothorn or Clefable to get rid of the leftovers. That's I think that's why he knocked off. Because otherwise if he um, predicted Curry to stay in... I mean it was potentially a speed tab. We don't know if they're both max speed or if one of the land Scarf Landers runs less speed. But it's confirmed that they're both Scarf because he knocked off the Scarf and he went first so he obviously has to be Scarf to outspeed or opposing Scarf Lando. So yeah, Curry got up a spike and now Heatran is in. This is super tough for Cory to switch into. Um, Femin could just Magma Storm here. Also, it could potentially be a Z Magma Storm or a Z Flash Can Heatran. Which is just tough for Cory to switch into. Because if he goes Ladi... Ladi is an option, but like I said, he has to fear... Like I said it earlier, he has to fear the Tita in the back that could be doubled in. Um, if he goes Landers, he gets blown away by Magma Storm. But the reason why he might go Landers is it covers the Tita double. And I guess it covers off power, but there's no reason to off power for Femin. Cory should never risk his T-turn on a potential off power. But yeah, overall, not knowing Femin's set, I would just Magma Storm if I'm Femin here. Obviously, he sees Z-move, there's an, another option. But Magma Storm just seems like overall the play to make. I know it can miss, but if it hits, Magma Storm is deadly. Uh, I think the Landorus uh, took, two, uh, took 25, so I think Landorus might die to Magma Storm plus the after math thing effect so he goes for z-move Cory went landris and he just died so he w he either just accepted that he has to sack his landris or sack something or he predicted Femin to double into Tyranitar, not 100% sure. So now Ladi is gonna Mega Evolve to get its bulk. Phoebus, Femin obviously doesn't wanna go hard into Tita. I would go to Mew here if I'm Femin because Mew can pretty much eat up any hit from this Ladi and then either Softbolt or Defog. Uh, obviously, you don't want to go hard Tita, take it off quick to the face. Um, I would probably, if he has Pursuit on Tita, we don't know that yet. Uh, I would probably try to get that in either on a double or after you sack something on the Ladi. Because you don't want to, uh, like I said, come in and off quick. Like, I don't think it would 2-hit KO, but it would still do a lot. Uh, especially if it's Mega Tide, it wouldn't 2-hit KO. But yeah, like I said, I would go to Mew here. Uh, Cory is most likely just going to off quick and Mega to get his extra bulk. The thing is, even if the Mew comes out and gets the Defog off, um, Cory can either go to Clef or Heatran on the Mew and then get the rocks up. Like even though like even though he would get rid of the spikes, he would still have health on his side. But the thing is he already got rid of the Landris and he has some threats in like this Tita is just always in the back scaring the laddie. So this is not a bad matchup for Femin at all. And even though there's a hazard on his side, it doesn't mean much. Um not sure why he went to Toxapex there. But he's Femin is most likely gonna switch here. Like I said, I would go Mew. Another option would be Landris here. The reason why I say that is because um, he's not going to Psychic here. Um, he's, if he stays in, he's going to Earthquake, but I think Cory's also going to switch. Uh, if I'm Cory here, I would, like, I would try to switch into like 
I think Clefable would overall be the play if I'm Cory. Clefable kind of covers the Mew and also covers the Landris somewhat. Also covers Tita, but he's not going Tita. The reason why he's not going Tita here is because uh, obviously there's the potential of Cory going for Earthquake. I don't think Cory is going for Earthquake, but there's always the potential, right? So I think Femina is gonna go to Mew or Landris here. And what can Cory do? Like, I would probably go to Clef. If I'm Cory, he does go to Farothon, okay. Uh, Fumin went Landris, either predicting Earthquake or predicting Clef slash Farothon, and maybe he just wants to knock them off and get rid of the longevity. Um, I don't like that play. I would have gone to Alamomola if I was Cory, because now Farothon lost the lefties. Um, Cory now has to double switch because now the Mew is gonna come out and he has to punish that double because he's already a mon in the back. He can't just let Femin get the defog off for free, so Cory has to double here. Let's see if he does make that play. He does double into Heatran, nice play. So now you can at least punish the Mew defogging with either Magnus Storm trapping the Mew and killing the Mew or with Toxic. The thing is, this Mew is not gonna be Earthquake, right? It's gonna be Ice Beam, Softball, Defog, Whisper, like I said. Just looking at um, Femin's Zygarde matchup, otherwise the Zygarde matchup is too bad. So he's just Defogs and he's gonna either ma get Magnus Storm and Trapped or Toxic. So he does get Toxic. I have a crippled Mew here. So uh, Cory can either Magnus Storm here or I guess get up Rocks if he has Rocks on Tren. We don't know yet, know yet if he has Rocks on Tren or Clef. As he does just go into Pex. The thing with Pex, he might be Shed Shell, but otherwise, like what I could see Feynman doing, if he's Shed Shell, that play makes sense, but otherwise, Pex doesn't even beat Trend that well. So we see it was Rocks, Toxic. Other moves are probably Magma Storm and Earth Power. Okay, that means it doesn't have Taunt. So Trend not having Taunt means um, Pex can kind of deal with it because he cannot Taunt it and Pex can recover up. So as long as he doesn't get Spadef drop, the Pex is fine. Also, this might be Shed Shell Pex. Um, he went to Mola. Uh, he should switch out because he should scout for Toxic. I don't know why he went Mola in the first place. So he goes Ferrothorn. Uh, I guess he should just leech it here to try and get some health back since he lost his lefties. I know he has Wish Pass on Alamo Mola, but still, losing the lefties on Ferrothorn wasn't the smartest in my opinion. He should have just gone Alo on the knockoff because Alo has Regen and Wish and stuff like that and wouldn't have not have cared about the knockoff as much. He does have T-Wave and that miss is really unfortunate uh, because Heatran is a big threat to Curry's team. We've already talked about this. Uh, so yeah, Feeman can just fire off a Magma Storm here. Cory is either forced to go Tren and hope to win a Spita or to go Ladi. So he goes Ladi on a Magma Storm. And now he's, Cory is either gonna recover or... Or I guess Draco predicting the land or something like that. The thing is, overall this Ladi is kinda tough for Feeman to switch into. Uh, because his Mew is now toxic, which means it doesn't wall the Ladi anymore. He twin dies to Earthquake. Tita doesn't wanna switch into Earthquake. Pex doesn't want to come in, Coco doesn't want to come in. So knowing that nothing wants to come into off, uh, Cory might actually Draco try to predict the Landris. Uh, I would probably just recover here if I'm Cory, but it's tough. Oh, he does Earthquake, so Femin stays in. I think Femin just predicted a recover, I don't think he predicted the Draco actually. And I think he might have also been able to live, live the um, Earthquake. So like, he was like, oh, okay, so he might either recover and even few earthquakes if I live it. Like, I don't know if he lives it, but if he lives it, then staying was fine anyway, I guess. So Cory goes tr from Tren into Alamola, not 100% sure why. But yeah, this Tren is Earth Power, Magma Storm, and Flash Can, Z Flash Can. So the last move is probably Taunt. So Cory can either go for Protect here, or um, I guess try to Wish, hoping that it's not Taunt, or something like that, I don't know. So he does try to, uh, he just, just protect uh, as Femin switches out. Now Cory has to switch into like Clef or something like that. Yeah, he doesn't want to get toxic on his ally basically. He doubles into Coco, really nice play by Femin. And he can pretty much um, either Volt switch here on the Pharaoh or HP Fire if he has that. Uh, just T-Building is fine as well actually because the Pharaoh doesn't have lefties, it's getting chipped. And Cory should Leech Seed or Power Whip here. The thing is, Femin might stay in actually because I think he beats the Pharaoh 101. I don't know how much power we would have done to Coco. Uh, why did he double out? Like, I'm not sure what the double into Clefable. Like, what type of play could Femin have made that the double into Clefable covered? The only thing that Clefable covers is, I think, the Mew and maybe the Titar. But not so sure about that. So he goes in the trend on the power whip now. So this is looking over. Like, pretty much Femin wins this game. Uh, Femin can just Magma Storm and Cory either has to go land and hope to get he gets the play right or Allo, okay Allo. 
So he does off power, trying to catch the Heatran. Okay, so I thought he should, might should go Heatran. That would have not worked out at all. But at this point, Femin is so far ahead. I don't see how he can lose this game. We don't even know his Tita set yet. I mean, if he's... Yeah, even if he's... Yeah, if he's banned, I actually put him word. Never mind. I was about to say if he's banned, the Alamola might wall it. But Alamola usually runs... Um, not that much HP and a lot of defense in Spadev. And I think Banta does around half or maybe even a little bit more than half to Aloe with Stone Edge. So he goes to Mew just to defog the rocks away. Oh, he can actually will always here breaking the Ferrothorn because the Heatran is at 100%. The only one that can um, get the Wish Pass here is the Ferrothorn. So Wisping um, covers the Ferrothorn and you punish it. That means at least when it gets the Wish, it doesn't. Um, it's not back at full, it's at least burning on a timer. That's, a, that's exactly what Femin wants. And that pretty much makes. Tapu Koko stays a threat with Ferrothon being on a timer. Even though Burn got nerfed this gen, he doesn't have his lefties. So now the uh, Tita comes out. And now we will see if it's banned or Mega, and it turns out to be Mega Tar. As he's Lava Plume, so he, he wasn't Magma Storm. That explains why he toxic the Mew, why he didn't Magma Storm the Mew. So now it makes sense. So he's Lava Plume, Toxic, Rocks, and probably Earth Power. So Tita can just go for Stone Edge here. Um, I don't, he's probably not, he's obviously not going to be a DD variant because he had showed rocks. So he's uh, Stone Edge rocks. I'm not sure about the other move, so he's just going to wish here, right? And the Tita sees he cannot beat the Alamola, so Tita is going to switch out here. Um, he can go to Coco here, or he can go to um, Pax. Even if Cory predicts Femin's switch and like goes for like a knockoff, Toxic or Scald. It's not that bad for Femin, as he does predict the Coco Toxics, it's a really nice play. But at this point, like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, Femin is like really far ahead of this game, so you can just click Volt Switch here, because uh, Alamola would die to Volt Switch, I think. And Fer Ferrothon comes out, you get momentum if you're Femin. And you can go to uh, Heatran on, or Tita. Like, if you don't have Fire Punch on Tita, then obviously Heatran is the play. But going into Tita kind of makes me think that he has Fire Punch. Oh, Cory has to switch out here, scouting for Fire Punch. Obviously, Alamula is at full, so it was always the play there. Uh, Femin could have Stone Edge, but he didn't have to predict. He's like so far ahead, like I said. Uh, he does get an unfortunate burn. I don't think that's going to play a game deciding role, but it's a bit annoying for Cory. Uh, so Cory is probably going to wish here on knockoff. Scald, something like that. So he just wishes, Landorus comes out. So the Alamola can uh, just Toxic here, right? Or just Scald, one of the two. Yeah, Toxic's the Lando. And Alamola can wish again. Lando's is going to have to switch out. But yeah, he got rid of the lefties. And the Alo he, got he burnt the Alo with Fire Punch. So he guys getting some chip on the Alo. Uh, and wish all which also only has 16 PP. Like, 16 is a lot, I know. But it's going to run out eventually, is what I'm trying to say. And Cory's not going to be able to keep this up. He also has rocks on his side. Uh, his Ferrothorn is burnt. It doesn't have lefties. He's just not going to be able to keep that up. Goes in the trend. Um, he's just gonna off power here. Okay, Magma Storm. It doesn't really matter. Oh wow, he does not have Scald, so he's knock off. So that actually did nothing to Heatran. Four percent because he's burned, and because obviously Heatran is Z move, so it can't get knocked. Like he, the knock off damage is not boosted. Like I think it's sixty five base power if the if it's a Mega or if you have a Z move or if you don't have an item. And if they have an item that you can knock off, the power is like 90 or something. Something like that. But you guys know how this works. And I guess you can just off power spam at this point and sack his Heatran. Nah, the burn is a bit annoying for Cory for sure though. But yeah, like I said, in I don't know if I said it in another upload, but I'm not gonna talk about the score in this series. It does have taunt. I didn't know if he had it. That was obviously a cool play then. I'm not gonna talk about the score or the series because I don't wanna like because I might be uploading some of the games that uh, happen after this or before this. Like I might upload some of the games that happened before this, and I don't wanna spoil them. So I'm not gonna talk about the score. And my man Ultra Balls is helping me with the lower tier games. Okay, so Cory was just hoping for a dodge there at this point. And okay, so I'm thinking that Cory's trend was bulky because he didn't go there, and because it was Lava Plume, so it was probably bulky for stuff like Lele. And they would have died to Earth Power, that's why he went Ferrothon and hoped for a dodge. And it was, so it wasn't the speed tie. Okay, that makes sense now. 
basically what I was trying to say is Ultra Balls is going to help me out with, my, with the LC, uh, with the NU games, with the with the lower tier games. And I'm going to do most of the OU games. I think you already uploaded one of the OU games to my channel though. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. And I'm out. Have a fantastic day. Smash that like button. And peace out.